Hey, Sue, can I bow? This is Emily. Yeah, one second, Emily. I'm just trying to chat to her. Is Amio gone? Oh my god, you just give me the ick. Hey, if that is Safro, bro, they're fucking talented. talented. That's marketing general. I say, Emily, where's Amio? Tomorrow I gotta go to bed. Oh, he said he's gotta go to sleep. Let him go to sleep, man. You done it, you done, bro. You done his head in, bro. How's he gonna sleep with all the red balls he took? I don't know. Ah. Uh. Hey, so who's this, Emily? Who's this on the phone? It's Babe Station, Sally. Babe Station, haram. You lot are haram. Anyone who promotes only fat... I'm doing Muta with you, Sally. Muta? Who told you about Muta? I'm darling, I saw your grinder profile. What? What's that, yeah, grinder? I don't know Grinder. I know plenty of fish. I know Tinder. I don't know what's Grinder. Grinder is for you. Don't run away, darling. You have a, you have a really I nice I think it's for gay people. I'm not sure. Ah. Uh, so, uh, where's this profile that you found? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> nah, that's Safra. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> what? This guy is not sleeping. I swear he's a baby. Why is he awake this time? <laughs> I swear he's like 10 years old, uh, 12 years old or something. <laughs> Bro, at his age, I would be sleeping like a baby. Oh, it's Faye, it's Faye, it's Faye, bro. How do you know? She's on her sister's account. I can see it. Where? What's her sister? Oh, she locked off. Yeah. Why are you baiting her up? Uh, not just say. Oh, you fucking baited her, man. Hey. Mo, should I drop them some gems? Or should I just save it? Oh, I'll be real with you, yeah. That video is going to hit a million, bro. What's it on now? 15. 15k? Yeah. I'm gonna repost it. Oh, my knee, man. What happened to Fuck, you? you've gone and bought a walking stick here. Now, nah, imagine if I need a walking stick because of my knee. Bro, walking stick, yeah. I've been overtraining my knee. Bro, why are you going to gym, bro? Just do press ups, man. Now, you have to go gym. Listen, let me tell you why. And this ain't even my saying, so I'm not even trying to steal someone's saying, yeah? But there's a, there, there was a there was a there was an Instagram reel that I come across. I can't remember who it was, but it basically said, yeah, mm. if you're weak, yeah, you're fucked. You can't be weak. Like literally, if you're weak, you are fucked. Like how the hell are you gonna protect your family if something goes down? So I will never be weak. I will always go to the gym. Always. I will always be as strong as I can. Listen, doesn't you don't have to be you can use weapons, you don't Yeah, you can use weapons, bro. You still gotta be fucking strong, bro. <laughs> bro, how do you think people are living now? They just got whaps. Listen, you gotta be strong, you gotta be fit. Listen, it doesn't matter. You could find yourself in any type of scenario. Bro, there's bear man. Look at Lee Murray, he lost eight pints of blood. Don't make, doesn't matter, don't make bro. nothing, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah, it does. Listen, you you don't, bro, you could be in any type of scenario, bro. Right now, what are you going to do? One man pulls up on you. He, all he's got is his fists. So what are you going to do? You're going to G-check him, innit? Bro, you're going to you, gonna say, uh, I know exactly what you're going to say. Do you want me to tell you what you're going to say? I'm just going to tell him, listen. No, nah, no. Nah. You're going to say, I'm gonna say who's way that? or no way. I'm going to say, who's that yeah? behind you? But and if you as soon strong, as he turns around, listen, don't listen, cap. Listen. Listen. listen to my trick. I'm going to say, who's that behind you? As soon as he... I said, why are you bringing your brethren? He's going to turn around. You're doing too much talking. That's it. You're listen, done. Listen, listen. I'm going to say, look, I'm going to say, what? You're bringing your brethren? He's going to turn around. I'm going to kick him in his balls. Oh, my day. Kick him in his... Bro, this isn't Robert, like Hollywood. Listen, let me tell you what happened the other day. You know that guy I was fighting in, in the speaker's corner when I punched him? Have you seen it? The video? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you swear that... Do you know what happened? Do you know happened? Do you know what happened? Do you know what happened? Should, I, should I tell you the story, whole story? It could. After the the police the police split us up and ev- they said everyone go home. Yeah, so I was leaving Speaker's Corner. He waited for me in the bushes. He was hiding for an hour. 
I was on my scooter. He jumped out of the bushes and fly kicked me off my scooter. I fell on the floor and then I went back because he, he's a boxer or something. So I swung 10 punches. He, he dodged all of them. I was out of breath. Listen, I was out of breath. He dodged all the punches. Guess who saved me? Who? One second, let me answer the question. Hello? Hello? Hey, I wish I could have seen this. This is, hey. sounds funny. Hello? Yeah, so I dodged all the punches. Uh, he dodged all the punches. I was out of breath. I said, Ya Allah, how is this little ISIS going to beat me up? And guess what happened? You know that Romanian guy that sits outside foot like a marble arch with one leg? Yeah. He's always drunk. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Anyway, so that the Romanian guy, he saw us fighting. We were fighting for like five minutes, yeah. Oh, thank you, Loki Wavy, Habibi. God bless you. Bro, they sent it to me. Chill out. They sent it to me. Oh, the same thing. Me and you are the same. Listen. Wait, actually, I don't know. I don't know. Who did they send it to? Are you lot? Who did they send it to? Yeah. Anyway, so listen to this, yeah. Yeah, Loki Wave, safe for that, bro. So, guess what happened? The the Romanian guy that sits outside full of car with one leg, if you lot have seen him, he stood up on his crutches. He walked all the way across the road. Thank you, Loki Wavy. And then he, the guy, all I wanted was the guy to just look away for one second so I can get him with a strong bank. Because he's so fast, he dodges all my banks. So when the homeless guy touched him, he goes to him, brother, stop. And he grabbed him from the arm. As soon as he grabbed him, I, I threw one strongest bang into his eye oh thank you Loki Wavy that's so kind brother you don't have to it's too much man bro why are you saying it in a soft way why are you saying oh the Wavy he's too kind he's too kind I love him I know we've got to go yeah so then basically big up Loki Wavy all it needs is one bang hmm the breast Listen, too fast. The, the... I, I, I hear that. I hear that, bro. But I don't know how why you just told all that story. That's pointless. It just comes back to what I'm saying. You gotta be strong. That one bang that you gave him was strong. Bro, you're I talking about what... kicking in the balls, mate. Saying, "Oh, look over there. Look, someone's behind you, and you're gonna kick them." But all I'm saying is, you have to be fucking strong. Yeah. Like if you're not strong, a hundred. Listen, the way the world is going, you're gonna be fucked. Absolutely fucked. You yeah. have to be super strong. You think anyone could ever come up to me and I'm going to say, gee, way or no way? It's going off, bro. I'm ripping off my top. Every single person is going up in the air. Even the person across the road that was looking, that was nothing to do with it. Everyone is finished. I don't care. That's my mentality. That's the way I think, bro. Yeah, but sometimes, brother, there's lots of knives out there. You've got to be careful. Ah, Look bro, how that's it. If there's knives Three there, people it, dead already knives. in our area. Bro, three I'll people. be real with you. Some people run from knives, and that's the best thing to do. I've been in certain situations where I'm stupid and I haven't run. And I've, I'm actually, you know, I'm not even going to preach this shit. Forget bro, about all it. it needs is one little push. One, You know, my friend, Mishal, yeah, he's Sudanese. He died, like, last week, yeah. He's, he was only 22. Mm. All it needs is one push. His brother's my bridge. Yeah, I hear that, bro. I hear that. It was just his own bridge and just pushed a little bit. It, it... Oh, Loki Wavy, please. You're too kind, man. Please stop. God bless Loki Wavy. Give him the best happiness in the world. I hear that, but you sometimes you get a lot of people, people, they got a lot of pride and they got a lot of balls, bro. They don't run from that shit. One time I remember. <laughs> Um, then you have to wear a stab proof vest, I'll be honest. Someone whacked out a chopper, yeah. It was a proper long big chopper. I said, there's no way in a million years I'm running from this guy. I was fuming. I backed off my jacket, jacket wrapped it all around my left hand. And then he's coming for me, but then he's seeing me not back. Uh, it was, uh, why am I even preaching this shit? Let's just change the subject. What am I doing? This is nonsense. Yeah. Everyone, yes. if you ever see a man, run, that's it. Um, what were we talking about before this? Oh, Loki Wavy. No, it's too oh, much. It's too much. too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Loki Wavy, please stop. Please stop. It's too much, man. Come on, Habibi. Please. Yeah. Come on, Loki Wavy. Loki Wavy, listen to me, yeah? I've got, there's a charity on my Instagram profile called Zara Trust. If you want to send to the orphans, it's better than send it to me. 
It's, on, it's called Zara Trust. They've got orphans all around the world. It's a very good charity. If you want to give anything better than give it to them, it's better than give it to me. Why? Because I'm only going to get 30%. That's number one. Number two, 30% is like nothing. So if you give me £100, I'm only going to get £30. But or listen, what about if he sends it to your PayPal? No, let him send it to the, to the orphans. Orphans, bro. You can't go oh, wrong with yeah. orphans. And Zahra Trust is on my Instagram bio. It's not on my TikTok bio. It's on my Instagram bio. Because, uh, yeah, so just go to my Instagram page. Go on the bio. On the Holy Quran, you'll get so much blessings more than sending it here. I'll be so real. All right, can we see your new kicks? Yes. Oh, I need to post the video when I when I was wearing them. But be careful with them. I, I did tell you, bro, that every time... This, that's why I don't wear one tens because I twist my ankle on them all the time I'm wearing them. Why? I don't know, uh, but I, sw I, I swear to God, I'm not lying to you. I always twist my ankle when I'm wearing one tens because the heel is so high. Mm. One tens because the heel is so high. I love one too. Bro, why can't I hear myself? Sorry about that. Vicky, Vicky. Alright, Mo. Yo. Yeah, listen, but bro, just, just, yeah, get strong, bro. Everyone that's listening as well, 275 people, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're a boy or girl, always stay strong and fit. That is number one. I'm telling you, that, that should that should be one of your number one priorities. Right, like, look, Loki Wavy said, I was going to send Lion, but TikTok takes 70%. I don't even want to. Thank you, uh, Loki Wavy. Basically... Uh, I moved that low chino guy, bro. Uh, Loki Wavy. Basically, my PayPal details is on my Instagram bio. So if you go to my Instagram, go into my bio on my Instagram. Uh, it's gonna have a link tree. When you press the link tree, it's gonna have my PayPal. Mashallah. So. That's, you have to go on my Instagram bio. Hey, Mo, you should get like a PO we'll box just here. Take it. Like Chelsea. So if people want to send you like clothing and all this kind of stuff, their brands, they can send it and you ain't got to worry about them knowing you're a yeah. So chat to Chelsea about okay, how to get PO box. Okay, that's amazing. All right, big up low key wavy. Low key wavy, man. Amazing, someone said, right, Mo, amazing. Did someone send you rat traps once. I think so, but I don't know. Someone, I don't know where they went. Someone said, "Mark, you must have took actual me. friends." I've got no friends, bro. Sorry, bro. Telling me to go sleep. Sorry, my G. Yeah. He said he was going to send the line. It's a good thing he didn't send it, man. Alhamdulillah, it's good, man. It's just what I went to waste, bro. Um, I can't even remember what I was talking about. But, um... Yeah. So you lot asked Amir earlier, I said to him, um, what would you do if you was young and you was on like a thousand pound a month, say, yeah? Because that's the situation. Like right now, with a lot of, you ain't even got to be 18. Let's just say if like, you're 18 to 25, you've never ever saved any money, yeah? Um, mm. You've never saved any money. But then you're hearing like all these multimillionaires telling you, you can do this and you can do that. And, and and it's none of it's working for you, yeah? I'll give you my perspective on, on how I feel. Like, cause I, and I'll be real with you. This can't be done. Not every single person can do this. But what I'm about to tell you, it worked for me and it's worked for many, many people, yeah? But not everyone is a boss. 
but it doesn't matter if you're not a boss because I've seen many people like, and I know many people that have no money, but they're the happiest people in the world. They're on minimum wage. They've got their family. They save up for their holidays and they're fucking happy. So just remember, if it doesn't work for you, it's not meant to be for you. That's it. Just live your normal life. Don't stress yourself out about making. But if it is for you, like what I've always found uh, that works for, for a lot of people is... Um, I'll give you an example, yeah. Let's just say you're 18 to 25, you're on a grand a year and you're working. You've worked for like two years, you've saved up, I don't know, let's just say you've saved up 10 to 20K. What I would have done, what I would do with that if I was that age, I would find someone, I would find I would find a business, yeah, but I wouldn't want to run that business. I'd find someone else that's interested in running that business and I, I, I'll put the money up. But because I've put the money up with all my savings that I've saved, let's just say, I don't know, what should we say? A dry cleaners, an MOT station, um, a kebab shop, whatever it is. I would have put my bread up, but I've invested in someone else. So don't get me wrong, I probably would have worked there to start with, yeah? But once that business was up and running, I would, the person that I've gone half with that hasn't put no money in, yeah, I would allow them to run it. So now that's one of my businesses. It's a business that's going forever. I don't need to be there. So now I've got other people that's making that business run. So I would have left them to carry on doing whatever they're doing, running the business, and I would have been making money from it. Then I would have been saving and saving and saving again. <laughs> then I would have done the same thing again with someone else. So what I'm trying to get at is you, you lean, I lean on other people. I find other people that are, that are really good at what they do and I invest in them. Once you invest in them, you you can forever you can you you can repeat that multiple multiple times until you buy like a business let's just say you you you've, you've stacked like 150k and now you want to buy a bigger bigger business but you find someone because one thing when it comes to making a lot of money if you dedicate yourself and you dedicate your time to one trade you're going to be stuck and you're not really going to get anywhere but if you if you allow someone else to dedicate their time but with your money you're going to be able to do multiple different things because now you've just got like a you've got a revenue that's coming in but someone else is running that whole business and every time that revenue comes in your pot's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you just keep multiplying and going from one business to the other to the other to the other and um and yeah and that's just hey, how bro, you keep bro, but you, you have to find block, the right person to why can't i block people in your chat who do you want to but you can let me make you mod uh oh can i can i can you can what are you on about Sorry, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you need to find the right people to invest in. So, um, but always remember your time is always the most important thing because remember this, and this is very, very cru crucial. If you're always working, you will never be able to make money because if you're always working, you're working to make money to pay bills. So always remember the less work you do, the more money you're going to be able to make. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you listen to what I said before that and how you're going to make that money, it will make sense to you. So find someone. So like for, I'll give you an example. Let's just say I've got 15K right now. I've got someone that wants to open up, um, I don't know, like a Caribbean shop here. Yeah? I do the maths. I say to myself, okay, this Caribbean shop's going to make me, what, £1,500 profit itself a, a month for me, myself, yeah? Within a year, I've got my money back plus some, yeah? After that, I'm in complete profit. The business now runs for five years. I've made like nearly, what, 100K or whatever just under that. Now, I go and do that exactly the same thing what I've just done. I'm not, I don't even have to wait that long because I'm not even putting any of my own time into running any of them business. So I just keep investing in other people. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be some times where you're going to go wrong. Yeah, you're going to go wrong sometimes. The business is not going to work, but you have to be really smart and really sharp. But this is where it comes down to it's not for everyone. It's definitely not for everyone. Everyone is not built to be able to call the shots and do this and do that. I see things different from how a lot of other people see difference, uh, see things. So I'm able to say, no, nah, this ain't working. No, nah, no, nah, we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to do this. But there's a lot of people, they'll do a lot of things wrong and they just like being told what to do. This is why they can never really progress. But there's nothing wrong with that. I've got respect for everyone. Everyone plays their part. But um, that's enough of me rambling on. But yeah, Modine, go on. You take the mic. Well, I'll be real to you. Yeah. I just want to sleep, shower, and eat, and go and pray. I don't care about nothing else in there. 
Like, listen, and I want to, I want to come, I want to come back here in about five to ten years' time, yeah. And wherever you lot just heard me talk, I want one person, at least one person that heard me speak. What do you yeah? think about is money? Why don't you think about the dean, Salah? Why are you not on your dean? Oh, all you think about is Bunda. What are you talking about? Yeah, and all you think about is money. What? How's money gonna help? I don't you? always what think about money. Tell me how. Always, tell me once I've ever talked to black. What you're telling people is, oh, oh I want one person everyone, to change their life. Everyone, right now, why we can't live you in tell a Western... them to come on no, their let, deep? let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Right now, we're living in a Western, uh, the Western world, yeah, where everything we see and everything that's advertised to us, yeah, is made to make us want it. So it's 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 a, it's a, it's a very depressing country to live in because not everyone can get that and everyone's thriving for it. Yeah, so that's why I'm t- drop, dropping these gems and, and, and telling people what I'm telling them. Bro, I'll be real with you. You need to just leave this life of money and go focus on Allah and the deen. Even though you've changed my life, yeah, and, and I'm, a, I'm a slave of Allah, so Allah's going to bless you, but you still need to... You need to cut. You need to love a lot more than money. Mm. You understand? Listen, you, one thing I've learned in life, yeah, you're never gonna be able to win everyone over. Everything is always split, whether it's split three ways or it's split two ways. You're always you could Why be the nicest person. Like, well, why don't you say Allah? You like, could be well. the nicest person in the world, like, and do everything for everyone. You're gonna get. Haters. We love you. Just, no, no one's hating on you. We no, 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 but you. Like, I'm just telling you that's the way. It we is. love you, but we want you to, because we love you. We want you to go heaven and to go heaven. Yes, you will go heaven because you're so kind. But at the same time, you have to mention Allah a lot because the one. Listen, let me tell you one story quickly. Do you know the Prophet Solomon? He had the right, biggest. Listen, I want one second. Why I want talking to my what, well, You can, but you right, lot. I let me finish my story. I'll tell them about these gems. I'm talking to you lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm just telling the story. So the Prophet Solomon saw this guy. He was flying in the air because he had a carpet, flying carpet. And then he used to be flying everywhere. He can go anywhere he wants. So he, he, he heard someone from far away saying, oh, my God, look at Prophet Solomon's kingdom. I wish I had that. So Prophet Solomon said to him, come here. I heard you talk. He said, if you say subhanallah one time, it is greater than my kingdom. If you say subhanallah. So we, why, why the remembrance of Allah is bigger than all of this. Oh, but we weren't talking about that, bro. We was talking about business. Why can't we talk about... Why, it's, it's, yeah. That's so why is it that some people put business before Jum'ah, before Salah? Why? No one's saying they do. Who does? Who? What do you mean who does? I know for a fact there's people that don't go to Jum'a because of their jobs, bruv. Bro, that's, that's, that's you and Faye's beef, bro. That's nothing to do with me. I did apologise to Faye. Why doesn't no one mention Allah all the time? Why do they mention the dunya? Why don't you say Allah a hundred times a day? I say it a hundred times a day. Oh, this guy wants to say hello to you, man. I want to let someone troll you for two minutes. Oh, Thank my you. God. Hello? Uh, get on tomorrow quick. Huh? What are you saying? What are you saying, bro? Are you cool, yeah? Yo, what going, bro? What are you, what are you saying? Have you got nits in your hair? Have you got nits in your hair? Bro, I can't so see them. Up, bro. I, I can feel them. They're biting me all the time. You're finished. Look at your hair, bruv. Look at your hair, you fucking you knee. Bro, bro, that's not him, bro. That's a monkey. What are you talking about? Oh, you're sorry, knee, sorry, sorry. You're finished. Why is he putting it as his profile? Suck out. That's why I put it on my profile. Okay, say that and say that. <laughs> Should I drop him? Up to you, bro. I'm going to drop you, bro. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to drop you. Yeah, I'm yeah. Uh, Alright, listen. <laughs> That's enough, lads. Are you lot? Do you lot think I was chatting shit? Tell me in the chat. Bro, all I'm saying is why you're the kindest guy, and Allah loves kind people, so you probably will get to heaven. But if you don't do salah, you can't get into heaven. You can't. So, what's more important, salah or money? Why is it when it's time for Salah, no one leaves their job to go pray? Why do they carry on pre- working? You're going to invest in a tanning shop in 2023. Do you, are you happy with just investing in that one tanning shop and just 
stay in contempt and grind that one business, how far do you want to go? Chase the Dean, Aki, not the Dunya. I know you're the best guy, but chase the Dean, brother. It is exactly. Don't chase the bunda. All right, let's see a poll. Who's right? Mo Dino, right, cool. Do you want me to tell him what you've done today? No, no, no. That's it. Yeah, all that. You can't mention people's sins. I would never bro. mention that. Yeah, go make a poll. Who's right? Me or you? Go on. Ah, right, cool. Let's make a poll. No, but you are right. I Red, see, bro. Listen, Red, Red bro, is from... without doubt. Without doubt, bro. You're right. So why bro, don't why, you why? ever? We're talking right. about business, bro. I'm saying if there's a 17... We don't, we're not saying to the 17-year-old... Right, business is good. I'm play. not going to lie. Okay, wait. Business we're not saying good. to the 17, so 18, 25. All right, listen. All right, all right, do your thing, do your thing. But why is it that when this comes to money, people get all serious? When it comes to the Dean, they start moving boots. Okay, bro. We're not promote. Listen, all we said... Or sorry, I said, we're not telling people don't pray. I'm just saying, this is like... This is a business structure Who's that Rebecca I think Dixon? works because it worked for me. It's yes, the perfect business, business structure. Business I gave people a did... scenario that if yeah. there was on one what one k a month, yeah, what they could do to continue to grow. There was nothing wrong with that scenario, bro. People hear all these stories. Oh yeah, you can get rich, you can do this, but no one really tells them how to. And what I just did there was kind of a little blueprint that no one's heard before. Okay. How much have you lost in crypto? Hundred grand. You, but it's, you know, I've, I mean, I'm not lost in crypto until you, you're only losing crypto until you sell your coins. I haven't sold my coins. Yeah, but your hope is they'll go up. Who said they're gonna go up? What if Putin presses the button? They ain't going nowhere. If Putin presses the button, we are fucked. And how? All right, let me check what's happening with Putin. How likely is there gonna be a nuclear war? One second. I'm gonna tell you the statistics. How likely? is nuclear war. So everyone's here complaining about money. Let's see. Um, is there something right now? The chances of nuclear war is very low, but even a very low chance of such destruction is much, much too high. Even when we're faced with a tiny risk of collateral tragedy, there are still things we can do. <laughs> Many people are pe feeling super depressed right now. How do you know? I'm just going to let them come for you, man. I'm bringing them all. I'm bringing them all. They're coming for you right now. They're coming for you, every single one of them. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Your marketing. Your... This is so, what I'm saying. Let me ask you something quickly. Go on, G. No, no, only Hell no, Dean. I'm not answering no questions. Hell yeah. No, Dean. Hell yeah. You're not answering no questions, no? No. Oh, shit. Mo, Dean, let me ask you a question. Bro, I'll be real with you. I'm like, tired, yeah. Get oh, they be fucking real. You can't. No, no, I'm just gonna ask you. I'm just asking. Is that a real, bro? You can't be putting chicks like that. I'm getting affected. I don't know. What, let me drop chasing Dean because he's gonna be on most side. No, no, yo. <laughs> oh, you need to get this. Chasing Dean, chasing Dean. Ha ha ha. Hey, 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 Rebecca. Yeah, man. Chat to Robert Mugabe, man. He's there. What? That's chat to Robert Mugabe. That's fucking sick. He's there. Yes, yes. Isn't that Robert Mugabe in the picture? Mm, no. You're a fakey. fakey. Hey, um, Robert, chat to them. Robert, you're a fake, Robert. Uh, I dropped. I dropped Robert. Yeah, uh, chasing Dean said, "Man's a hater." Man's a fucking fakey. We don't like no fakes. Hey, big up We're Max Kadar, you know. my brother, right there, Max Kadar. You mad? He came out and mashed up the whole of the the influencer scene. It's taking over YouTube right now. Hell yeah. Well, what's not, going I'm, on? What's going on tonight, boys? Yeah, we're all good, Max, man. Hey, Max, when's the next video dropping? Max the Thief. Yeah, man. Oh, shh. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Max. Add Max. 
to add Max to the fucking chat. Let oh, I'm trying to get rid of this lady, bro. Why is she calling him? He's saying, come link him tomorrow. So, uh, tomorrow. No, I'm free on the weekend, Max. Definitely Saturday. Saturday, bro. We'll link up, definitely, bro. Uh, this guy wants me to rise him chasing the team, but I know he's going to get on to me more. Hmm. Yeah, I'll bring Moji. Say no more. Hey, you lot, it's getting late, yeah? I'm going to lock the live in it. Um, everyone stay blessed. Tomorrow, thing. And, uh... Oh, Sully said I'm scared. Why Sully? What have I done to Sully? I ain't done nothing to Sully, man, but I don't want to block him because he's been about for time. He's one of the old school ones. But he's telling me that I'm scared. All right, let's rise him. Let's rise him. Well, I'm all naked. I'm going to have a shower. I'll chat to you later. One second, bro, because this is your boy, bro. You're Mo Dean. This is chasing the Dean. Yo, let me chat to the people for like two minutes before you go, yeah? Yeah, what city are you from? Uh, me, I'm from Manchester. Oh, my God, we've got Sully coming for me now. Shit, who's this guy? It's oh, basically... Well, I want to I wanna, I wanna add on to what Mo was saying before about chasing... Obviously, chasing Dean over... But before over you add on to that, yeah, bro... But why did he start telling me that? I'm just talking about a bit like business. Yeah, yeah. No, is, yeah, is it allowed yeah. to do business? No, of course you're in, in Islam. It says you're allowed to be an entrepreneur. You're supposed to go out and tie the. No, it's good. It's good. But I'm saying, don't put that before your salad. No, no, hundred percent. But know, what did I do? To, what made you think I was doing that? No, no, because no. Because I know for a fact, if they told you, we'll give you a million pounds, but you have to miss Fedor, you'll do it. No, right? more, more wait, you have wait, to wait, look at it like this. Allah's obviously yeah. blessed marketing in a way. That he's blessed him in it. If he, if Allah didn't see nothing in him, he wouldn't have given. Wait, him wait, wait. Let, let, Mo just made a mad accusation. Yeah. Okay. So listen. Number one. Yeah. I don't pray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, but you're Mo, Muslim. Are you, yeah. Yeah. Mo, are you saying if I was to pray, I could be bought? No, I'm saying you. If they gave me wallahi billahi tillahi, if they gave me a million pounds, forget million, one billion, one billion pound. Wallahi, billahi, tillahi, inshallah, Allah drops me right now if I'm lying. They said, here's one billion pound cash. Listen, here's one billion pound cash. Salah, this is salah, miss one salah. Yeah. Don't pray, you know, don't pray it. Miss you know one what, salah. More, Wallahi, I won't do it. More you got your life pattern, you know, because that's what it is. You got your no, salah, listen, your listen, dean in front of everything. Listen. I will not do it. They say one salah, we don't let the sun go down and you don't pray the whole. Nah, hundred percent. Do you know what it is? There's a hadith from the Prophet, yeah, sincere hadith. It says the one Muslim who misses one for namaz, that's it, one uh, compulsory prayer, he's out of the sect of Islam. But that doesn't mean that don't get your hopes. No, I'm down saying that's how much I love Allah. The thing I is the Allah thing. is Ar Rahman, he's Ar Rahim, he's the most forgiving, he's the most merciful. If you if you have that guilt in your heart that look I'm not praying like marketing right now he just said you've got to look at everyone in different aspects yeah he just said you know what I don't pray I'm not the best Muslim but obviously he wants to try yeah but look what someone said everyone's saying uh, admitting they'll do it themselves everyone will do it but I won't of course they will do you know what, why are you trying to say that I would bro without a billion you're missing it <laughs> wait wait <laughs> you're wait, 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 wait. No, no, you, you can't you can't judge you why can't do you judge think no that I can be bought with money though I don't get it tell bro, me what, makes, saying, what, what have I done to make for free. I'm saying bro you're, I'm saying a billion pound you give me I won't miss one salah okay, you're missing but listen, it for free no, but listen, listen, no listen. more you can't stick it on him like that though you've got to like that's what I'm saying so more, when I do listen let's just say I did start praying yeah I'll start praying now what makes you think I could be bought what into what? Tell me what I've done since Listen. I've known you to be think that I could I could be bought like I'm a little hoe. <laughs> no, I'm saying if they gave, if, I'm saying look, look how so important Salah is. What is worth more than all the world, bro? Yeah, hundred percent more, hundred percent. What's more. worth? Everyone, everyone has their time, and it takes time for people to develop that connection with Allah. They, they get it in just due said, course. You miss Fajr, yeah. If I'm, I'm be honest with you. One sleeping, year ago, I, I, I used to be doing the mother shit. I was never praying the namaz, but Allah gave me that hidayah. He gives hidayah to people at different times in their life, different stages when He thinks it's right for them. If you've been born a Muslim, you're blessed anyway. 
whether uh, whether or not like you're praying or not. Obviously, more the fact that you're spreading that like, how important prayer is is good. Oh, it's no. good. Obviously, holy Quran. I'm not casting marketing. Marketing. No, nah, no, nah, nah, nah. I'm trying. Uh, what I'm trying to say. Him. You're saying. You're saying. Let's just say. Bro, cause I, I, I see me when, when I when I do start, bro. That's it. I'm loyal, bro. You think that I'm gonna be unloyal and, and sell out for a meal? How could you think that I'm I'm a sellout? No, I'm saying that all this money talk here is nothing compared to one salah. Bro, do you know I what it is? Yeah, Maudine, you're hundred percent right. If you look at it. In that aspect, you're the richest man as long as you have your deen. That's it. That's all you need. That's that's literally all you need in this life. When you, when you, when you go on your journey in Islam, and the more you read about it, the more you learn about it, you realize that you know what this dunya for the believer is a hellhole. It's a trap. Yeah, there's temptations everywhere. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said in an authentic hadith yeah, that there will come a time where it will be harder to hold on to my religion than it will be harder to hold on to hot coals. And if you're not seeing that right now, then I don't know what you're seeing. Because if you look at everything on the For You page, everything man's are doing, how madness everywhere you look. Balloons, this, that, girls clubbing. And do you know what it is? It's all dead. It's like, I've do, I, I'll be honest, obviously not good to expose your sins, but I'll be straight. I've done it all. I've been there. I've done it all. I've trapped. I've done, you know, I don't even want to say it, but obviously I've realised that, you know what, this is some depressing shit, man. This life is just depressing. <laughs> And if you think about it, like logistically, statistically, and all that, yeah, time's gonna stop. Yeah, look how fast time's going. That's it. You, you're, you're 16, then you're 20, then you're 25. Yeah, time will stop. The clocks will stop. You'll be 33 for the rest of your life for eternity. And the Lord of the Worlds has made a place just for you to chill, to kick back, chill, do what you want. Hura Lane women, Ferrari, SF 90s, you name it, bro. It's Jannah. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like a beautiful thing. If that doesn't motivate you. To just crack on with your life, do your five namazes, do what you're doing, man, make your money. Then I don't know what does, man. It's just a beautiful religion and you can well, be the worst I'll be real with you. Tomorrow we could be dead, which is very likely because the chances of surviving until 60 is not a lot because any cell can just pop and you die. As soon as you die, you either fall into the lap of Satan or you fall into the lap of the woman of heaven. So you need to choose whose lap do you want to fall in? No, it's but it's not like that, Mo. Do you, you know what? One thing I've noticed about you, bro, I've been watching you for like a year, yeah. You either, you, you, you write a man off or you say, you know what, you're a good guy. No, I'm saying, bro, who said we're going to be alive tomorrow for us to change, bro? We need to change now, bro. Tomorrow's yeah, 100%, 100%. You see how much people are dying, bro? I've got three of my friends died this week, bro. One's in a coma, two are in a fucking hospital. Me so one is in a hospital. Me me like, die, yeah. And they're all in their 20s, bro. Oh, yeah, I've, I've lost a lot of friends from knife crime, yeah? So, like, a lot, like, people I know, yeah? So, what the hell is... Who said that word promise tomorrow, bro? I don't understand. No, we're not. We're not gonna live to me. I don't get it. I don't get what oh, I'm going to change tomorrow. Who the fuck gave you the thinking you're going to live? Audacity. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. 100% more it's understanding. It's not fucking written, bro. It's so scary, bro. We don't I know, get bro... I, Bro, I've known people that died from young ages. So millions, millions. Go and check you know what all I can say to you, Mo, is keep up what you're doing, bro. I really respect it. Like you're always going on about Dean. You're always telling the man's to pray. Obviously, I'll be honest. Looking at your comments, man, just say some bullshit. Like these lot all washed. I'll be honest. I don't know what day it is yeah. But do you know what it is, man? Hopefully, may Allah give him hadiah. May Allah wake him up and he'll give it him at the right time. Inshallah. Uh, no, not... brother. That's it, man. Just, just. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. Every second we don't remember Allah is a loss. Because remember, remembering Allah is worth more than money, bro. And when you think about it, yeah, when you think about these mans on Dean and whatnot, mans look at them and they think, yo, these are muftis, these are movies, like they're just here with big beards. I'll be straight, bro. I'm a normal kid, man. I do my own shit. I go work. I, I do my forex on the side. I live a normal life, but all all it takes is you come home from work or whatever. You, you spend 15 minutes, bro, of time to, to do all your foreign namazes. It's 15 minutes, yeah. That's literally out of your day. It's nothing, bro. It's actually nothing when you think about it. And that's all, that's the bare minimum. And that's all you have to do. He doesn't say sit in obedience to me all day. He says, do your five for namazes, that's it. Anything extra you want to do that will increase your connection with me. This, that, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just beautiful religion, man. It's beautiful. Uh, do you know why they, they ask their mom, Sadaf, why is the p a person who does zina not a kafir, but a person who leaves his salah a kafir, yeah? 
he said, because the person that does zina, for example, he's got a, 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 a passion, like a, a sexual drive pushing him. But the person that doesn't pray, he's a kafir because there's nothing pushing him not to pray. He just doesn't care about God. Yeah. So he doesn't even care, like, the, like he just he's, he's just trying to say, well, I don't care about God. Like, yeah, do you know what it is more the importance of namaz? You're right. If you go on my page, you'll see the video. It says that there's in Allah's eyes, yeah, you can be a rapist, you can be a terrorist, you can be a pedophile, you can be a drug dealer, you can be a murderer, you could have shot, you could have fucking pulled a three five out on about five man that day, yeah. But if you went home and you prayed your namaz that day. Then Allah, in Allah's eyes, you're better than the person who did nothing, sat on his ass all day, did no haram, nothing, but didn't pray for no reason. Do you know what I mean? See? That's how it gets. That's what it's like. It's scared, bro. I've had the hadith, yeah, that if you smile in a person's face that doesn't pray salah, it's as if you b destroyed the Kaaba. And I heard another hadith. It says if you give food to a person that rejects salah, he says salah, he rejects it completely. Hmm. It is as if you have killed uh, all the prophets from Prophet Muhammad to Adam to Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, but you also read another hadith, yeah, that if you wear yellow trainers, do you want me to tell them? <laughs> exactly, oh, bro. bro, man, I told you, don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> no, nah, but that's what I'm saying. You're saying these hadiths, but you're not quoting them, bro. Bro, all right. Uh, what does it say in the, in the Quran? Yellow says, trainers, what's that one? That's what I'm telling them about the it yellow says, trainers, bro. Just Let's li li just chill, bro, listen. It says, why are you in hell? This is the Quran. Forget hadith now, yeah? The Quran says, it speaks to the people that don't pray. It asks them, why are you in hell? Mo, I just want to interrupt thing... you for two seconds, please, so then you can finish it, because I know it's going to be long. Mm. If you don't want to talk about the yellow trainers, let's tell them about the black trainers then. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the trainers. basically wanna... said to me, if I wear I black talk trainers... About, forget black trainers. I want to talk about prayer which is more important. what do you mean these comments are saying made up hadith like I don't know what I'm saying that's, that's what I'm, I'm saying so basically like, the only reason I'm getting onto him because he's saying yeah if you give food to someone that doesn't pray rare essays basically throwing shots at me no I'm trying to say look bro I'll be real with you yeah I'm trying to help you indirectly because I know if I'm a good friend to you, I have to help you. I, my right, so why did you help. say to me if you wear black trainers, yeah, then you can't get... Forget um, the black trainers. Forget the black trainers. I'm trying to tell you... You said it was in the hadith. hadith. All right. But is that important? Yes, because <laughs> now but more, my brother, obviously, my brother, I love you for the sake of Allah. But one thing, yeah, you know, when you're, when you're right. talking about Islam, you've got to make sure that everything that you're saying is uh, strictly 100. Like, you can't be saying that this is an authentic hadith because one man might go and say it to uh, five other men and they might say no, it to No, no, I'm just saying man. about Salah. Listen, I care about marketing because I feel sorry for him. I'll be real. Okay, what's the hadith where you said that about the You know, when trainers? you feel sorry for him, just like he feels sorry for me, he tries to help me. I feel sorry for him. I'm trying to help him. I want him to start praying so that if anything, so that so he gets saved because I don't want to see him going to hell. I don't want to see my friend in hell. No, of cool. course, bro. That's, that's beautiful, man. That's you why I'm brother. trying to help him because I might not, imagine I die tomorrow and then, and then, and then, he, and then he says, Mo, why didn't you help me? But Mo, can I say I, one thing to you? Can I say yeah. one thing to you? I don't want to interrupt you, bro, but I just want to say one thing you do. You do sometimes like contradict yourself in a way where you talk about the deen and you talk about namaz and this and that, but it's still, you know yourself. Obviously, no one's perfect, man. I'm not saying that your sins are bad or whatever, but you contradict yourself in the sense where you, you talk about the deen, but then you also talk about this, that, bunda. Do you know what I mean? Nah, like, nah, nah. I, listen, I'll be real with you, yeah? When I'm saying bunda, I'm talking about getting married and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that's calm, that's calm. But I, I'm just saying, yeah, that at the end of the day, I care about him. I don't want him to waste his life. Maybe tomorrow I might not see him. Maybe tomorrow I die. Maybe tomorrow I might... He, if this but, might be the last No, no, time, the only reason I'm saying it is because, like, you talk about cheating and this stuff. I know, like, but this might, the be, the last might, time, think, you know, this time might be the last time I might see marketing. So this is my last advice. Imagine he will never see me again. At least yeah, yeah, no, I get you. I can say I try to advise my friend, man. I, call, I want you to advise me about this, this, the, the yellow trainers, please. Nah, prayers first, man. Anyway, I'm signing out, man. I just ah, sorry, want... sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm signing out, but I'm just trying to help you, if guys. Always, always try and help each other because that's the hey, best. Someone's telling me to address. Be a good person. Yeah, so listen, you know what? At the end of the day, is Mo be a good person. Believes, that's it, man. Yeah. Free and no, 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 no. Mo don't believes. Don't talk about it. I don't. I won't tell you stuff. Is hello. 
Oh yeah, tattoos. Yeah, no, I don't know. The sheikh told me it's not up to me, bro. He told me uh, he's gonna. I'm gonna blame him on the day of judgment. What did he say? He said tattoos are allowed. Yeah, he said because it's under the skin. So if on the day of judgment, I'm gonna say, Ya Allah, this sheikh told me that to do it. I'm gonna blame the sheikh. No, anyway, I'm gonna lie. That, uh, that's a bit mad, you know. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> that's you. That's mad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you saying, bro? How long you how long you been um you been praying? Gee, I'll be honest with you, fam. I was like, I was doing the mother here for like a year, a year ago. But then it was just like sitting in cars, man, racing cars, doing the mud shit, just fucking clubs, this star girls. I realized, bro, this is some bullshit, man. Some depressing shit, man. It's just a cycle. It's a, it's a, it's a false happiness. Like, there's a lot of people I know, yeah, in my close friends. They smoke weed, yeah, every day. They be spending ninety pound cali packs, this, this, that, and they they look forward to that at the end of the day yeah and when you realize it it's a cycle of false happiness when you actually deep it i deeped it i was sat there i was like yo we're just doing nothing man no ambition no nothing so i saw you know what man i just need to get on dean and i'll be honest with you everyone in the comments or watching me or listening to me right now the contentment that pure like there's a thing in the heart it's called false happiness and there's a thing called pure happiness pure contentment in the heart the only way you will get that yeah is from prayer i'm telling you i saw the first time i saw uh, about my head down in such that i cried for two hours straight and i said y'all i wasted my life and i promise you since that day I've, uh, you know there's a saying a british saying i've been high on life honestly i've just been high on life just thinking you know what i found my true purpose when you find that honestly nothing can stop you nothing worries you you have no stresses you don't care about material everyone nowadays i think is trying to chase money right they're trying to chase this house this lifestyle that's been portrayed to them in front of them on social media i think that you know what when you when you find that connection with your lord like the contentment is unmatched bro like you can't match that feeling like and it's literally it becomes you and then there's just these npcs living in your world you know what i mean like everyone's just living in the world but you know you're there for a purpose that's it you're cracking on and you know that this time's gonna stop bro you're gonna get to 70 80 year old man you can't do nothing if you've lived your life doing a madness like what do you expect to happen on your deathbed you know what i mean you're not gonna die an honorable death but when you've been when you when you start younger i'm 20 bro when you start going on this journey young allah rewards you more allah loves you more and he'll give you a higher place in jannah and that's all i'm aiming for right now i'm not aiming for no this and that in the dunya but i'll be honest since i started praying blessings just fall into my life all my dream cars i ever wanted they just come out the blue like they're here on my drive now and i didn't even ask for them i didn't even want them material things i didn't want them but on my life bro it's fucking it's just beautiful, man. I shouldn't sweat over, but obviously, do you know what I mean? I just want these people to be motivated, like how I got motivated. Yeah, no, that's good, myself. man. It was nothing, there was no calamity in my life to stop me, or sorry, start me on this journey, but it just started. So that's it. If you if you don't want to learn about what I did and how I did it and how I make money and how blessings come in, follow me and show I'm a struggle in life. I'm so, bro. so, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a follow one sec. But yeah, or just everyone in the comments, just whatever, man. If you want to follow me, follow me. If not, it's up to you, totally up to you. But inshallah, man, I wish you all the best. And I know marketing's tired. I don't want to keep him too long. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to sleep. But yeah, go on, jump on a live tomorrow and it will talk, bro. Go on, man. Yeah, safe. I'll, I'll holler you tomorrow. I'll jump on, on guest requests, yeah? All right, cool, bro. Take care, everyone. Safe, man. Be, take on. care.